Hi there, just want to show you a quick video on how to add the Brightspace portfolio app to your Android or iOS device. Doesn't really matter, it works similar for both. And then show you how to use it as your own personal device. So this would be for students using uh, Brightspace portfolio for themselves, for personal use. So from your device, whether you're on iOS or Google, whatever that may be, you're going to go to your app store. On Google it's Google Play, On here it's uh, the app store. And you're going to search Brightspace Portfolio. And you can see what I'm typing there. And it comes up. And there's the Brightspace Portfolio. So you're going to download that to your device. And now once you've got that downloaded, you can go to your screen. So now this is again if it's your personal device. So you're going to click on Portfolio. Allow the permissions. The app uses those things to put stuff into your portfolio. And now you're not going to click on class device. Here's where you want to click on my device. So this is your own personal device. So you can have this on your phone, your iPad, whatever, your personal device. And you need to connect it. There's two ways you can do that by entering our URL for the eHub at, uh, at NCDSB and pressing connect or by scanning a code. So the way you would scan the code is you'd head over to the eHub and you'd click on My Portfolio. And then you'd click on Log into the app. And you'll see here a code. So you'll take your device, click on Scan Code, and you'll go over to that code on the eHub and scan it. It's that simple. Now your device is connecting to the online environment. And so you'll just connect it by entering your username and password, pressing login, and saying OK, continue. So now I'm logged in to my device, and it's my personal device. <clears throat> so anything I do on here is going to connect to my portfolio personally. So then I can collect evidence on my own and add it to my portfolio on my own. I don't need to use the teacher's device. So I can take a snapshot. There's that evidence. I can add a title, whatever I want to do, and then I can talk about it and record it. And now that stuff is going to be added to my portfolio. So here I'll top right corner, I'll select which class I want that to go into, and now that's being uploaded and added into my class portfolio. So that's a great way to add stuff to your portfolio from your own device.